This video explains how to avoid an overlap of text labels in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains 30 rows and the three columns x, y, and label, whereby the columns x and y contain numeric values and the column label contains our labels. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8. And after running this line of code, we can draw a plot with text labels using the ggplot and geom text functions, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot has been created. And you can see that this plot contains text labels. And you can also see that some of these text labels are overlapping. So let's assume that we want to avoid this overlap in our plot. Then we first have to install and load the ggrepl package, as you can see in lines 13 and 14 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 14 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can simply replace the geom text function with the geom text REPL function. So if you run lines 16 and 17 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And as you can see, it's showing the same text labels as the previous plot. However, this time the text labels are not overlapping anymore. However, you can also see that it might happen that some text labels are not shown because they would cause overlap. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.